they will be heard on this campus today. We begin with Pennington's testimony of his time at Yale in 1851, a dress that was quoted in Frederick Douglass' paper. It was considered intrusive for a colored young man to offer himself as a candidate for admission to a class, even in a theological seminary. Some wrongs cannot be righted, only admitted. Let there be a record. Let there be a place to lay it safely, to remember. There are the hands that will write it all down. Spirit carries the record elsewhere. Let us tend to that place also. That he is everlastingly committed to the interests of the oppressed. That he is constantly sending forth suckers and assistances for the rescue of the wronged and injured. That he brings all the forces of the universe to grind to powder all the enormities of earth and to rectify all the ills of humanity and so hasten on the day of universal brotherhood. Theirs is a story that cannot be told without reference to the racism and unimaginable hardship they encountered, including on this campus. But our contrition today must not overshadow the grandeur of their contributions. On this occasion, we must not merely lament past failings, but celebrate their individual triumphs. We must not only issue the Reverends Pennington and Crummel Yale apologies, but we must issue them Yale degrees. <laughs> <laughs>